Ben, good evening. According to these court documents right here, the former CFO Robert Mayer is accused of entering his office after he was let go and taking documents that included files related to the illegal dumping investigation going on in Fairfield right now. And today I got a chance to speak with his attorney who says his client had no intention of any wrongdoing and they plan to fight these charges. This is innocent, innocuous conduct that's being meant to look like something it isn't. That's how attorney Richard Meehan Jr. is responding to charges his client Robert Mayer is facing. The former Fairfield chief financial officer accused of entering the Sullivan Independence Hall building after he was let go and removing files that included documents related to the ongoing Phil Pyle investigation. The Phil Pyle was an ongoing investigation in where uh, we had several town employees that were arrested for uh, several charges related to environmental crimes. According to court documents, Mayor was terminated on January 15th and was set to return to the building on the 18th to clear out his personal belongings. But on the 16th, other employees noticed missing files from Mayor's office. During an interview with Fairfield Police, court documents state Mayor was asked if he was aware the files he took included documents specifically requested by the state concerning the Phil Pyle investigation. Mayor told police he did not think the files were related. He brought the documents back. He's cooperated fully with them. And I'm amazed that he's been charged with burglary in the third degree. This is a public building. We reached out to the town first select woman about why Mayor was let go. In a statement to Fox 61, she explained she could not comment on the ongoing matter, but says in part, quote, I will continue to cooperate with law enforcement to bring justice to those who have compromised the health and safety of our residents. And right now, mayor's charges include burglary as well as tampering with evidence. All of those charges today he pled not guilty to. We know he is back in court for a pretrial hearing come March 2nd. For now, reporting live in Bridgeport, Aisha Fox 61 News.